Hi Cancer, welcome to your June 15th through the 31st of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I'll be doing your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Before I get started, I just wanted to let you know that in the description box, I do have a link to my uh, to my uh, new website, and I do sell personal readings. If you click on Shop Now, it has all of my um, lesser priced readings, and those are I record them per order, and then I upload them to YouTube unlisted, so you can only view them with the direct link, and then I send you the direct link, so you're the only one able to view those and I usually get those out within 48 hours if it takes longer I would email you and let you know um, also I have book now which is a new feature if you click on book now you can book a live Skype call with me they are more expensive um, and you choose the time that you would like to talk to me and then um, I'm there on that time and we have our live, live Skype call where we can talk one-on-one -on -one. so that's a really cool new feature that I want to let you know about and you click on book now to do that so let's get started with your reading cancer um, so this is the energy oracle please give me one card for the central theme of cancer's reading today one card for the central theme of cancer's reading today so there's a journey. You're going on a journey. It's a magical journey. A journey through fantasy, a journey through life, but you're on some sort of journey. All right, and then I'm going to be doing a spread. It's like the Romney Gypsy spread, but it's a little bit different. And I use two decks put together, and I do read reversals, so each card can come out twice in uh, two different ways, four different ways, I'm sorry, four different ways, so that's really cool. And I feel that it just gives a better reading. So what is Cancer's state of mind currently, June 15th through the 31st? What is Cancer's state of mind, June 15th through the 31st? Three cards. All right, so the first one we have the Six of Swords. So there's a rite of passage here. There's moving away from conflict, distancing yourself from bad situations. You're escaping abusive situations. You're returning to life after a trauma. There's a rite of passage, a regretful but necessary transition. This is the card of Aquarius. This is air energy. It ushers in the winds of change. There's um, action, ideas, motion, communication. Um, it's very unpredictable. It's a free energy. You can't contain air. Um, it, with Aquarius, it's very cold energy. It's uh, very detached, emotionally rebellious. It's revolutionary. Um, it's impersonal. It's uh, kind of can be a little cranky and quick witted, very free thinking, freedom loving energy. And you're leaving the past behind you. And there was a lot of painful lessons in the past. And you're moving towards the future. Um, so with this, you're moving towards the future. Six is all about growth and problem solving. So you're growing, you're problem solving, you're relaxing, and you're moving towards the future here. So what else is going on with Cancer's state of mind? Okay. Um, all right, so this finishes. All right, so let me take that card too. All right, so this one is justice in the reverse. So there's, in your mind, there's uh, injustices. There could be um, thoughts over a divorce or thoughts over a legal battle. Um, this is crooked, corrupt. This is Libra energy. Again, we have this air energy. Um, so with Aquarius, it's I know and Libra's I balance. So with Libra in the reverse, it's um, diplomatic, um, but insincere energy. So it's negative traits of Libra. Um, frivolous, uh, self-absorbed, uh, 
it's hard to think of negative traits of Libra. Um, but there's like divorce, lawsuits, inequality, imbalances, feeling victimized, blaming others, arguments, um, being falsely accused, crooked, corruption. That's the energy here. So with the Six of Swords, there's a transition, there's painful lessons, and you're moving into more painful lessons. You're moving into, like, lawsuits and imbalance of some sort. There's an imbalance. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, and she's in the reverse. So this is um, being self-centered, being a poor housekeeper, being jealous, spiteful, possessive, obsessive. Um, out of touch with reality. Um, there could be emotional abuse here. Um, poverty. Um, being money mad. Greedy. And then we have the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Pentacles. This is That would be um, Capricorn energy. So that's earth energy. It's very grounded. It doesn't take risks. It hates change. So with the two air energies here, the Aquarius and Libra energy, um, there's a lot of tra changes. The winds of change. It's all about transition. And then the Queen of Pentacles hates change. Um, earth doesn't like to move. Air is fluid. There's a lot of controversy here in your state of mind um, with air and earth together because the earth is practical, air is action. Um, earth is grounded, air is ideas and motion. Um, earth is doesn't take risks and air is all about risky behavior and then we have fire so fire is all about ambition aggression energy we have the queen of wands and it's in the upright um so this is aries energy this is like explosive temperaments um ambition being self-assertive i am me being like a self-starter taking initiative um, the Queen of Wands is very independent, outgoing, spontaneous, radiant, healthy, takes charge of situations, is determined. Um, you can do this. This is exercising, getting active, um, being open and sincere, being demanding, uh, setting boundaries. So what's going to help Cancer? Three cards for what's going to help. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles, and she's in the upright. So this is a very good card to get. The Nine of Pentacles is uh, results of hard work, a driving ambition, success, free to enjoy a lavish lifestyle, luxury, in a position to afford anything, status, public recognition, elegance, grace, maturity. Right. And then we have the Knight of Wands, and he's in the upright. And knights are all about conquest, acts on ideas, um, highly action-oriented, always looking for the big opportunity. And this is sudden arrival of great new beginnings. Um, this could be unfinished projects, being a risk taker, being impulsive, having emotional outbursts, um, being like a very charming, um, seeking constant action, hating boundaries. Um, a time to take action, developing your potential. Right, and then I have conflict avoidance with the five of wands in the reverse. 
So it starts out with this air energy, this winds of change. And this is your current state of mind. Things are changing. There's a lot of communication. There's a lot of ideas. Um, there, there's a being very emotionally aloof. And then it gets grounded. It gets practical, uh, slow and steady. But it's also like overly focused on money. And then we get some drive, we get some ambition, we get some aggression. And then it comes back down to earth, being very practical and grounded. And then it ends in absolute fire, like this reckless volcano type uh, temper, full of energy and enthusiasm and strength, very passionate and dynamic and temperamental. Um, so basically this is saying to light a fire under your butt and to reap abundance, to reap all of the rewards of your hard work, to go in and conquer, to avoid conflicts and to conquer. This is an entrepreneurial spirit. Don't be so focused on injustices. You need to be focused on yourself and conquest and avoid conflict at all costs. And that's the journey that you're on right now. So what's going on in Cancer's family and home life? Three cards for Cancer's family and home life, please. Three cards for Cancer's family. Okay, so I have the Page of Swords in the reverse, so there could be spying behavior. Again, we have Aquarius. We have Aquarius twice, and they're like right, it's right below Aquarius, and this is Aquarius again. Um, so we have the Page of Swords. This is spying behavior, and this is uh, malicious gossip. This is spiteful, vindictive rude, cold arguments, slander, backstabbing, being misunderstood, paranoid, um, psychological abuse. And that could be what the injustice you're seeing, you're, you're like seeing in your mind, like your mental state, there's that injustice because of this, um, psychological abuse and spying behavior and then we have Taurus this is a major life event this is the Hierophant this is tradition legacy religion education going to see a counselor you're but you're giving your power away with this card you're blindly following somebody you're externalizing your internal power you're doing what everyone expects of you you're afraid to rock the boat you're stuck in the past here um you could have a role model but you i mean you're stuck in the past but you're still moving on towards the future And there's conflict here because earth and air don't get along. Um, Aquarius is emotionally detached and always on the move. And Taurus is very stable, steadfast, bullheaded, stubborn. Those are the energies that they bring. What else is going on in Cancer's family and home life? What else is going on in Cancer's family and home life? All right, so this is your energy. This is Cancer energy. And this is the chariot reversed. Again, we have um, we have a loss of control, a lack of self-confidence, a loss of direction, emotional outbursts, letting go. There could be car problems here, so be, be wary of that. Um, wearing a mask to hide your emotions, overreactions, feeling overwhelmed relationships are stuck in a rut and it's another major life event what is cancer's romantic and social life three cards for cancer's romantic and social life two three okay perfect 
right so the first I see the five of cups so there's loss there's sadness there's regret there's being focused on the past there's being cut off from life this is the card of Scorpio um, so this is a I desire card this is very passionate intense emotional all or nothing type sexual jealous um, mysterious secretive suspicious obsessive penetrating energy full of emotions and intuition, a most hypnotic. And then we have the Six of Pentacles in the upright. So the Six of Pentacles in the upright is charity. Um, this could be hiring or firing, getting help, getting back on your feet, rescuing, getting, this is payday, things are paying off. Uh, rags to riches, getting an inheritance. Again, we have Taurus. So we could be talking about Taurus here. You may you may have a Taurus that just came into your life or that is in your life because we have some massive Taurus energy here. We have massive Aries energy, massive Taurus energy, and uh, Libra and Aquarius so far. But yeah, massive Taurus energy. Then I have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So the Ten of Cups in the reverse is um, a broken home or marriage, a misalignment of values. This is Pisces energy. So again, we're getting back into this water energy, this very emotional, mysterious, empathic, compassionate, dramatic energy. Um, this is I believe, but it this this once happy house home is household is now broken, and then we have death, which is Scorpio energy. So we're getting back into this water energy. So when death comes up, there's a change, transformation, a rebirth, out with the old, in with the new, um, emotion. Uh, Strength, surrender, accept and release. We have Scorpio energy twice here. So we could be talking about Scorpio or just that that I desire. I desire this perfect romantic and social life, but it's just not happening. There's a lot of emotions here. It starts with the winds of change and spying behavior. And it transitions into something very traditional. Um, and then there's codependency, there is a uh, loss of control, which leads to regret and sadness and being overly emotional, being very passionate and intense. And then there's a lot of sharing of wealth and health and um, uh, things are starting to pay off, getting back on your feet in terms of your relationship. But then there's a separation, a divorce, so it doesn't last long. It's short-term, and, and it needs to end. It, there, there's a final ending here. Um, both death and the Ten of Cups in the reverse is a very emotional completion, but it needs to complete. You have to tear down the old house in order to build the new. You have to dig up the ground in order to plant the flowers. There has to be a death of this past relationship in order for a new one to start you have to let it go it has to happen you're sad about it you're very emotional but it has to happen in order for you to progress to the future so what's going on with cancer's money oh. So the first we have is the Wheel of Fortune, which is a major life event. Um, this is nothing lasts forever. Um, good fortune. This is good fortune. Positive change. Unexpected rewards. There's abundance and good timing here. 
in terms of money. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. And do we have that before? No, okay. Um, so we have the Three of Pentacles here. So this is teamwork, gaining qualification. So you may be going back to school with this card, building something long lasting. You're not cutting corners. You're, you're channeling that Capricorn energy. The Wheel of Fortune, I always see that as Sagittarius energy. And then this is Capricorn energy, which is I achieve. This is very ambitious energy, um, very materialistic. So that's fantastic for money. And then, yeah, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Look at all that money on that tray. Um, so this is hard work. is paying off. All is going well. Um, you built your nest egg. You're financially solid. The future is very promising. Savings. Um, and uh, everything's going good. This is Taurus energy. So we have Taurus here again. And then we have Karma. Um, so this is the judgment card in the traditional writer Wade, and this is the final outcome, um, accounting for actions, karma. Um, so karma is just the reaction to whatever actions that you took. Um, so whatever actions you took in the past, it was really good with the Wheel of Fortune. We have good fortune, uh, teamwork, harvesting your rewards, and a final outcome where karma comes in again so we have karma here twice with the wheel of fortune and the karma card so whatever actions you took you're now reaping the reward so your money is really good during this time period so that's that's good to hear um your work career and life purpose three cards for cancer's work career and life purpose three cards for cancer's work career and life purpose please Three cards for Cancer's work, career, and life purpose, please. Three cards for Cancer's work, career, and life. Okay, so one is the Eight of Pentacles. So you're working hard. You're there late at night. Um, this is a strong, solid commitment, being dedicated, ongoing hard work, being highly skilled, qualified. Uh, you're getting recognition, acclaim on top of your game, exactly where you need to be. And this is Virgo energy. This is I analyze. Um, it's very useful, practical energy. What else is going on in uh, Cancer's work, career, and life purpose? Two more cards. Right. So I have uh, the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's some insecurity. Um there could be some debt here, uh, overspending, being stubborn, get rich quick scheme. So you need to avoid that. What else is going on in Cancer's work, career, and life purpose? All right, so I have the Knight of Cups. Um, so this is Prince Charming. He comes in fast, he uses his emotions, he conquers. He's the knight in shining armor, he's gallant, um, he's psychic, he uses his gut feelings, he's fairy tale. Um, highly sensitive. This is good news on its way. A dreamer, dreaming big conquering and then i have the empress reverse so this is a major life event this is a lack of growth this is being unproductive a lack of stability a lack of developing and it's just not the right time there's a poor self-image there's a neglect uh, lethargy and manipulation in your workplace that you need to be aware of um, but you need to use your intuition and gut feelings that's what the knight of cups is saying <clears throat> the Knight of Cups is saying, you already know this. You just need to use your gut feeling. Um, you need to avoid get-rich-quick schemes and continue your hard work and dedication because it is paying off. All right, what is the outcome for cancer? Three cards for the outcome for cancer, please. Three cards for the outcome for cancer, please. Right, so I have temperance in the reverse. 
Um, so there's inappropriate behavior, wrong action, there's imbalances, there's poor timing, um, not learning your lessons, uh, excessive behavior, being overindulgent. Um, what else is the outcome for cancer? All right, so I have the Seven of Swords. Beware of theft, betrayal, deceit, lies. Uh, be careful who you trust. There's mind games here. Again, we have Aquarius. We have Sagittarius and Aquarius here. What else is in the outcome? All right, I have the Two of Pentacles. Um, so there's decisions about finances. Uh, juggling finances, weighing pros and cons, deciding between two people, and this is Capricorn energy. So we got a lot of Capricorn and Aquarius energy in this reading, and Taurus. Capricorn, Taurus, and Aquarius energy is really strong here. Is there any other messages for Cancer? Any other messages for Cancer? All right, so I have indecision. There, there's two different paths that you can go on. If you go this way, you have a choice, and that is um, that way. Caring connections, so a relationship. If you go this way, there's a storm warning. What's the storm warning about? What's the storm warning about? A lack of victory. What's the storm warning about? All right, so you're not using your, okay, so this is the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, which is your throat chakra, so you're not using clear, uh, clear effective communication. There's problems with your communication. So you have two different paths. One is going to cause a lack of victory because you're not being a clear, effective communicator. The other one is leading towards caring connections. And this is going towards the path of Sagittarius. And this is going towards the path, path of Capricorn. Um, or just this earth energy of Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And this is specifically a Sagittarius. All right. Well, thank you again, Cancer, for joining me today and allowing me to do your reading. Um, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I do do bi-monthly tarot readings, and I also do meditation and affirmation videos. Um, I would really appreciate if you like this, to please like this video, and I love feedback, so if you would comment, that would be fantastic. Also, um, remember that I do offer private readings, and my website's in the description box below. Thank you so much, Cancer, for joining me. Have a wonderful day.